Hello world, this video is how to uh, install Docker for Ubuntu and Rocky Linux, which would mean this should work for other Red Hat Enterprise distros as well, like CentOS. You need to make sure you're, you have virtualization enabled in your BIOS, as virtualization is necessary for Docker at the time of recording this video. Uh, you So let's connect to our, uh, uh, first st let's start off doing this for Ubuntu. So we're going to connect to our Ubuntu server. And uh, this could either be locally or uh, remote. And currently I'm doing this on a virtual, uh, Ubuntu virtual machine. Uh, I have all my virtual machines here in cockpit, but you could do this uh, locally as well. And once you're logged in, uh, uh, so let's let's just double check at uh, what version I'm using. That's my Ubuntu version, 22.04, which it should be near the latest, if not the latest. All right, so we'll log in as root. And I'll include these commands as well at the bottom of this video. And let's make sure we're up to date. Okay, we are. So we'll update again. And then after we've uh, imported the repo, and uh, that's what we were doing before, then we could install it uh, like this. And if you wanted to go to lock it down to a specific version, you could, like you could make this, you know, a version out there or this, like a certain version, like, but if you leave it like this, just, this should pull the latest. For each of these and if you do want to grab a specific version it's best practice to make the docker uh well, we're using C community edition in this uh demo by the way but uh which which gets like the latest uh version just uh, it's, it gets updated just like the latest the enterprise version so you should be good with the community if you're studying uh and, and everything it should have the same features as enterprise uh, al almost about and then this is this is the CLI. You want the CLI and the community edition version if you are passing in a version like like you know dash ten dot something. Uh, this that whatever that version you're passing into it should match there. Okay, so we're gonna click that. All right, one second, please. And once that's done, um, you're uh, pretty much there, but there's like a few things we got to do. Uh, one is we need to add, so Docker cre creates a group and, and, and you'll want to add your non-root username, like whatever your username that was before. I'll show you what I mean. Like that, this would be your username. So you'll go back or you could uh, go back into root. And then you'll do uh, sudo, you, you don't have to, but uh, I mean, you don't have to do sudo after you've already been there, but uh, I'm just going to continue it. So sudo user mod dash a dash big G docker. That's the group, the docker group that, that uh, otherwise you would need to be in uh, root mode to issue docker commands, but you're doing this so you could not have to be in root mode 
which is uh, uh, privilege mode to uh, execute dark commands. And then you go like that. And then you'll need to completely log out of your server. So exit. And right now we're still on the server, so we'll exit again. And now we're out. And now we should be able to issue Docker commands without being in root. Okay, now we're logged in again and let's run Docker version. Boom, it worked. And then we'll do, uh, uh, there's one more, it's not mean it's running yet though. And in order to get it to run, you'll have to uh, start it, enable it. So sudo uh, system ctl enable docker. And sudo system ctl start docker. And now we can check if it's running. And we're good. That's running. And let's do one more check. Uh, Docker run hello world. And looks like we're good there. Uh, so that wraps up the Ubuntu uh, install section. Now we're going to jump over to a Red Hat. Uh, and I'm going to go with Rocky Linux. And let's see what Linux version this is to be sure as time of this video. It's Blue Onyx and it's 9. Alright. So a lot of it will be similar. But it will be different for this. Uh, for the rel version. Alright. So we'll make sure we're up to date. We are. And this is uh, some required packages, which may already be on it, but if, if not, uh, you'll want to run it. So I already have it. Then uh, point to the repo. Now we can run that similar command before where we can... Uh, uh, we can specify the version if we want to, but if we leave it as is, we'll grab the Docker, the CLI, and the container uh, D, uh, all all three. Uh, leaving them without the version, we'll pull the latest. That's done. Next, uh, we'll start Docker. And enable. And that's our version of Docker. And uh, similarly, we'll want to add our user to the group. So I had the same username for this server as well, so I'll add that. Boom. And then we'll need to log out twice. I mean fully log out. Not log out twice. You just I just I mean put exit twice if you're if you're already in root. But once you're logged out of the server, 
I uh, log back in for the changes to take effect. I mean, uh, that's why you would you would log out for it to take effect. The changes, and then upon logging back in, uh, let's see if we got Docker running. And we are. And then exit. And let's do one last check. And we're good. Thank you all for watching.